We turn now to the investigation and the aftermath of the attack on Dallas police officers. Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings joins us from outside City Hall. Mr. Mayor, just to start, can you update us on what's the latest we've learned about the shooter and his plans here? Well, we keep uh, looking into his files, uh, uh, talking to his neighbors, his family. Uh, our objective is to see if there's anybody that uh, aided and embedded him, uh, uh, conspired with him. Uh, we don't have uh, uh, any new news on that regards. Uh, that is going to probably take some days. There were others arrested immediately afterwards on the on the scene. When, what can you tell us about those arrests? You know, uh, in uh, you know, kind of dealing with the law of gun holding, you can carry a rifle uh, legally. And when you have uh, uh, gunfire going on, uh, you usually go with a person that's uh, got a gun. And so our police uh, grabbed uh, some of those individuals, took them to police heads, uh, headquarters, and uh, worked it out and figured out that they were not the shooters. Uh, but that is one of the, the real issues with uh, the, uh, the, the gun right issues that we face, that uh, in the middle of a, of a firefight, it's hard to pick out the good guys and the bad guys. Did that complicate the issue at the moment? Well, I think so. Uh, you know, I wasn't there real time to kind of uh, see it go on, but the common sense would tell you, uh, you don't know where the gunfire is coming from. There were individuals that ran across the gunfire. They were in a body armor, camo uh, gear with uh, rifles slung over their shoulders. So it sure uh, took our eye off the ball for a moment. We got them out of the way. We figured out what was happening and we did our business. You were in on the decision to use a bomb in the end to kill the shooter. Tell us about that. You know, it was a difficult uh, uh, decision because uh, the safety of our police officers were uh, in our mind. We had just lost uh, so many and we had had those shot. And so uh, the chief had two uh, options. Uh, and he went with this one. I supported him completely because it was the safest way to approach it. Uh, and we talked to this man uh, a long time and he threatened to blow up uh, our police officers. We went to his home. We saw that there was uh, um, a bomb making equipment uh, later. So we, it was very uh, important that we realize that uh, he may not be bluffing. Uh, so we asked him, uh, do you want to come out safely? Or do you want to stay there and uh, we're going to take you down? And he chose the latter. Before the shooting, Dallas was actually a model for community and police relations. So as people struggle all over the country after this week, what was Dallas doing right? Excessive force complaints were at a two-decade low. What, what can they learn from Dallas before the shooting? Well, first of all, I think training of our police officers is first and foremost. I'm so proud of our police force. They were one of the first to train in de-escalation. Uh, how do you deal with individuals, protect yourself, protect them, get them uh, uh, dealt with in the right manner? Second, community policing is important. But third, also supporting police officers are important in, in this. Um, you know, recruiting is down across the nation for our police officers. And we have got to make this a noble profession. And we can't let a very, very small uh, uh, few uh, um, impact uh, this noble profession. And uh, so doing all three of those, uh, getting the right uh, officers on board and then training them correctly is what we're all about. Finally, Mr. Mayor, the Dallas Morning News has a front page editorial that says, now we face a test. What's the test for Dallas as you see it? Well, I think we are a uh, laboratory for the United States. Can we, in a moment of crisis when officers are fallen, forgive? Can we disagree without demonizing? Can we um, see a better narrative as opposed to just absurdity, that there is redemption as we build this great city? Um, I believe we can, and I believe we will. All right, Mr. Mayor, we thank you very much for being with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you, John.